And for tonight, you're up to date in sports. Okay, John, thank you very much. Coming up, Tandy and some warmer weather. The 42 News Plus continues. Whatever the weather, things go better when you save with Jefferson Federal. When you retire, there should be more than a gold watch waiting for you. Jefferson Federal's individual retirement account can help you save for the future while saving you money right now on taxes. Within limits based on your income, you can deduct the amount you save at Jefferson Federal from the gross income reported on federal tax returns. Taxes are deferred until withdrawal at retirement when you'll probably be in a lower tax bracket. If you don't already have a retirement plan, you probably qualify. Isn't it time that you opened an individual retirement account at Jefferson Federal? And now with the weather, here is Tandy Culpepper. And after the weekend, uh, where it got so brutally cold all of a sudden, I, I don't understand what happened, Tandy. Can you tell me why, you know, where every time we think we're getting into summer, it, they, they turn a trick on us? I'm glad you asked that. I, I was talking to the people at the Weather Bureau today, and I said, is this typical for February? And he said he wasn't really sure what was typical for February, <laughs> because it was always you have your ups and downs and your highs and your lows. After a chilly morning, we had a rather sunny afternoon, and it was relatively mild in the Birmingham area, and it looks like it's going to be pleasant for the next few days. Presently in the Magic City, conditions are temperature 38, humidity 68 percent, barometric pressure is 30.08 and rising, and the wind is from the north at 6 miles per hour. The high today in the Magic City was 49 degrees, the low last night was only 33, and there was no precipitation as of 6 p.m. today. Metropolitan Pollution Count, downtown 39, North Birmingham 32, Fairfield 125, and Leeds 32. So that's a pretty good day as far as pollution is concerned when you uh, consider that 270 or 276 is where we ought to be having some concern. And when it's in the low 30s, that's pretty good. Let's take a look at the map now and figure out why the weather has been like it's been for the last couple of days. There's a low pressure center, a storm center that brought some of that weather and the threat of snow into the Magic City over the weekend. That storm center is now located up in the Pennsylvania area and it will, it's been moving northward of Virginia over the last 24 hours. And, oh, well, you can see the precipitation right there. There is a cold front that's moved out into the Atlantic that's brought ahead of it some of the precipitation. And there are still some isolated uh, patches of cloud coverage and precipitation in the southeast right now. But generally, because of another system that is a high-pressure system, we've got pretty fair skies in the southeast right now, and it looks like it's going to be that way all tomorrow. There is a high located right now in the Lake Michigan area, and it has a strong high pressure ridge extending from Lake Michigan down into the Louisiana Delta. Going into tomorrow, this will begin to shift in a southeasterly direction, and the ridge will extend into northern Georgia, where a somewhat weaker high center will be developing and that will provide us with a really beautiful day in Alabama, Georgia and Mississippi tomorrow. Now the bad news as far as that's concerned is that cloud coverage will begin to increase. That's because of a multiplicity of factors right now. We're going to keep our eye on a low pressure, another storm center that's developing at this time in the Texas Panhandle. It seems like these lows always develop in that region. And over the next 24 hours, this low with an accompanying cold front will begin to develop and move in an easterly direction. But the cold front shouldn't be too bad. It should be relatively warm and a warming trend over the next three days. So as I say right now, we're going to keep our eyes on this low and the cold front and see how they develop and whether or not the precipitation will be uh, big, little, whatever, whether we'll have a 60% chance or 40% chance of clearing skies or whatever. But that will be Wednesday night and going into Thursday. Extended outlook, it looks like it's going to be uh, cooler on Friday and probably fair weather again on the weekend, but we'll uh, wait a few days to predict that. Taking a look now at the satellite weather picture, you can see the uh, effects of that high pressure that, and the cold front. You can see the, the line of the cold front is well into the Atlantic right now.